It's a little nutty. It's a little cheesy. But it's really delicious. Epek Kursat's the owner of the Turkish Kitchen, and she's here to make a very tasty appetizer. Now, what exactly are we making today? We're making a walnut feta appetizer. All right. And it's very easy to make, very quick to make, delicious on a cracker on a, or on a little piece of bread. I love the way you've cut the toast, too. That's a great, you know, finger foods for a party. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, I'm sorry, Epek. And now, no what about problem. dipping some veggies in there? You Is could that do that, idea? too. But I like it on bread myself. On bread. And this morning, I actually made a piece of toast for myself and spread this on top of toast, and it was a great breakfast. Oh, yeah, and you don't need to have protein. all the butter of it anyways. Yeah, you get some protein, too. Good so how protein. do we make this appetizer? How do we make this? Okay, we start with the feta cheese. Mm -hmm. And yes, as please. you can see, about take about a half a pound of feta, which will be about like this. Okay. And you notice the feta is in water. Mm -hmm. It'll keep for months if you keep it in water. That's the trick. With feta. Oh, really? Yeah. And I noticed you have the block too, which I think it's a lot cheaper than buying it already crumbled. Oh, absolutely. So all you have to do is take it out with the water and start crumbling it with your fingers. Look at that. There How we easy go. it is to crumble. Very easy. Now, do, does it is it sold in the water like that, or do you just put it in water in the fridge and let it sit in the water? I put it in water myself. It'll come with just a little bit of water in the in the packaging. Mm -hmm. But uh, you put it in water, it also takes the excess salt out of it. You know how salty feta can mm -hmm. be? Yeah. So now we'll put this feta in the blender. All right. I love feta cheese. Uh, it's probably my favorite. If I had to rank, I think I would go feta cheese, goat cheese, blue cheese. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good order there. It's a good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's good. I've been working on that. And then we add about a half cup of either milk or light cream. Either one would work. What do you, I mean, obviously, light cream is much better, right? Light cream is absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. We like the fat. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't cream, love some fat? Who doesn't cream. love the fat? And then we'll add two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Is it extra virgin olive oil or just regular? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. I use extra virgin, but you can use regular olive okay. oil, too. Oh, I think you've got to go extra virgin. It's, it's so much tastier. I agree. That's one of the things, too, I feel like... I buy a lot of cheap things, but I buy expensive olive oil, or at least a little bit expensive, whatever I can afford, because it's worth it. Okay, so now we're going to turn the blender on, and hopefully it will go on. Me too. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. And now that was we'll quick. take. All right, so now the walnuts come in, right? Now the walnuts come in. We'll take about a half a cup of walnuts, just like this. And these are, are these, um, do they come salted or roasted or how do they, just regular? These are just regular walnuts. Can I just have one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like walnuts. Right, we, yeah, we're sampling now. Walnuts are pretty tasty. Do you want one? No, thanks. Well, I'm full. I, I had a salad for breakfast. Mm. It's a cooking show. You've got to eat. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll have a walnut. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So now we'll mm. blend the walnuts Good. in. Okay. So how do you know when it's done? I kind of look at the texture. It should be pretty light. And let me take a spoon here. This is a great and party appetizer, yeah, huh? Good. Yeah. So um, let's put a little bit. Let me take my glove off. OK. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it safe. Oh, it's ready. Look oh, this is it? It's now, what ready. About the this is it. Paprika and is this dill? Yeah, I will show you the finished product when you want to present it on a nice platter. Okay. You can decorate it with other walnuts, paprika, and dill, and so on. Oh, I love but just it. Take oh, a we taste. decorate. You have to decorate here. Yeah, yeah, can I have one too? Yeah. Thank oh, no, Ash, eat the whole thing. In the okay. So this is our finished product right here. Oh. And yeah, there's another layer of walnuts, some dill, and some paprika. What's the taste of paprika like? It really doesn't have that much taste. It doesn't make it hot. Mm -hmm. I think he likes it. I love it. <laughs> mm. It is so good. The feta. Mm. You, and, but you get that olive oil taste that shines through it also. And the okay. fat from the nuts. Did you say shines through? It does shine through. It taste can shine through. Yeah, absolutely. Shines through. Shines Epec, through. this is really yummy. Well, oh, thank you wow. so much. Hey. Hey, don't go anywhere because later in the show we're going to show you how to make this. It's another delicious dish. Don't go anywhere. Caramelized onion tart. Right? Mm. Welcome back to Masfield. Eat around the world without leaving your home. Epek Kursat is the owner of the Turkish Kitchen, and she's here to make some tasty Turkish food. We've already made the walnut feta dip, and now, or spread, I should say. Now we're going to make a caramelized onion lentil tart. Yes, and the beauty of this dish is 
The ingredients are incredibly simple. Just and inexpensive, onions. too. And inexpensive. And it gives you lots of fiber, and it's low sodium. Tastes great. Can't miss. Can't miss. Smells great. I so how do we get it. started? So we start with onions. And we'll take um, about a pound of onions to make maybe um, a muffin tin full of tarts, okay. 12 tarts. So now, we'll a pound of onions. onions, what do you think, how many roughly onions, like five um, or six? No, five or six large onions is actually about three pounds. So three, four medium-sized onions will, will get you. Good, that. less crying. <laughs> <laughs> this actually looks like a, a stuffing, Thanksgiving stuffing. Yes, here we go. So right. what we'll do is we'll slice the onions. Okay. Are, you're going to end up dicing them? Is yes. that right? Okay. Okay. okay, good, because I started dicing them already. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects, too. <laughs> so it's kind of a samurai way of dicing onions. A samurai onions. way, yeah. That's Seth's way of I cutting onions. It. it makes it more fun, right? So we diced our onions. And then yep. we start sautéing them in a pan? We'll, we'll put them in a pan and start sautéing them. Now, in this dish, mm -hmm. the onions are absolutely the critical ingredient because they need to be caramelized. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean to caramelize? Caramelized it? means the onions brown over low heat for a long time. You can't hurry it, that's the thing. So these onions would take about two and a half hours oh, to wow. caramelize properly. On and what heat, really low? Very low heat. And, and then when you finish them, they onions, look like this, is that they right? They look like that. Right here, so that. Yeah. Is, so you're looking for that gold and brown color, yeah. and the taste is, is really something amazing, right? The taste is very, very sweet. There is no sharp um, uh, smell of onion left. It just smells very sweet and tastes very sweet. And to get there successfully, you want to make sure that your onions don't get any black edges. So the heat should be low enough that they're just turning red and brown, but no black edges, because the black edges make them go um, uh, bitter. We don't oh, want that. Okay. And then that. you can't go back nice from burnt, sweet. too. No. Now, how do we get from, once we have these onions, how do we get to here, the dish that looks almost fully done? To get to here, we'll take our lentils, uh -huh. put one cup of lentils into about four to five cups of water, is it lentil? Is it a bean or is it a? It is. It's I think a it's legume. legume. Yeah, a it's legume. a legume. And, and it's chock full of protein. Yeah. That's why I like lentils so much. Ashley always gives me a hard time for eating lentils. I don't. I don't. You do. I do. Who are we kidding? <laughs> you do. You do. And you let so them you cook, and then you lentils. combine them all into here. Yes. When the lentils have cooked, they'll be pretty soft. At this point, I'm not adding any seasonings to it. No salt. No sugar. Nothing. And when the onions have cooked, so you have about two and a half hours to get here, you combine them, just mix them up. And it looks like this. And it looks like this. It's so kind of a simple, brown, right. earthy looking thing. Now at this point, you need to add your salt. And let's give you a taste here, if okay. I may. Absolutely, I'll taste this finish. all day long. It's just lentils and onion? Lentils, onion, and salt. And salt. And mm. if you notice, the flavor has a great balance of salt and the sweetness of the onions. What did you cook the onions in? Oil? Just yeah. a little oil. Yeah, just oil. And you know what I'm thinking too? A lot of people, like I know my wife, she's not a big fan of lentils. You hardly taste the lentils because the caramelized onions do all the talking. Mm -hmm. Tastes amazing. Okay, so we're going to fast forward a little, Epek. Okay. How do we get them to this beautiful stage here? To get to this stage, now our bread comes into play. So you take a few pieces of bread. Now it looks take like it's toasted. Pieces. Or do you toast it in the oven? I toast it in the oven. Okay. And I got a knife here, but I this can one? use this. Is that knife? That one. Very good. Thanks. Hey, no problem. So we'll just quickly trim the bread. Oh, look like your crust. Mm -hmm. And then you stuff it in there and put it in the oven. I first spread a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. onto the slices. With a nice little paintbrush. Because after all, you mm -hmm. are an artist in the kitchen. That's true. And we're Thank out you. of time, Epec, but just to give the viewers an idea of how you would finish it up, you put them in the muffin tin and then do you scoop the mixture into it? Exactly. You just kind of gather this up and shove it in here. And then shove a little bit of this in there. In. Exactly. And then, and then how long it? do you bake it And then it you for? bake it at 350 until this gets a nice little crust on it. And that's what it looks and like. And bon that's what it looks like. I and can't wait to try. Delicious. I can't wait to try the whole thing all together. Try the whole thing. Hey, head on mass appeal. It might 